Hey guys, so we've got these 22 inch Range Rover wheels. Uh, we're gonna blast down and recoat in gloss black for the customer. Uh, they've got some, some curb rash on them. They've left in the TPMS tire pressure sensors we need to remove and the center caps here. If you take a look, we've got, hopefully you can see it in this here. We've got a bunch of curb rash all along these rims here. After we sandblast them, we'll polish it out. Um, so it's it's gone when we when we recoat these things in, in gloss black. We've got center caps we gotta pop out. And then we've got the tire pressure sensors and it's just not your normal um, rubber valve stem. It's the, the tire pressure sensors, you know, in your car, it'll tell you if it's uh, low PSI, you need to add air or whatnot. So we need to remove these because they're not, not very cheap. Uh, you don't want to have to replace them. It'd be nice if they came in without them, but we're going to take them out for the customer, keep them in a safe spot and we'll put them back back in or hand them back to the customer when they pick up so that's these guys right here you've got different styles this one would just take a wrench loosen it up and remove it off here so we'll get these things get these tpms center caps removed um, and we'll sandblast them and they'll go up for powder all right so Here's those TPMS tire pressure uh, sensors removed. That's all they are. And our center caps. We're gonna leave these the way they are. They're plastic. Um, and they'll, they'll look fine. They'll look good when the wheels are all black. So we'll just leave these the way they are. blasted hung up now we're gonna do a little prep work on them uh, I showed you before they were blasted where there was some of that um, curb rash whatever you want to call it uh, it's quite a bit on these wheels they're not it's all over but it's not too deep so we can kind of sand it down so it disappears we're not gonna have to fill any material or in or anything like that or they'd have to go somewhere else to get to get fixed here, I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. You see that? It's not terrible. But it's all all over the wheels. All four of them have it. So we'll clean these up real quick. Mask the uh, the backs off where they where they mount up to the hub and we'll preheat them for a little while to outgas. And then these, these guys are gonna go gloss black. So we're, here we go.
so we put we just sprayed that uh, hot coat on those wheels there it's kind of going to be uh, think about it as like our primer um, coat on there it's going to help give that nice uh, thickness and it really for gloss black especially uh, more so than about any other color this it's pretty important to do especially on wheels do that do a light hot coat and we're going to let it cool down and then we're going to put a you know a normal coat dry coat on there and then we'll roll it in the oven for a full bake and this powder mirror black called four hundred degrees for um, ten or twelve minutes in part temperature. So we'll uh, get back here in a few minutes and spray that dry coat on these. And we'll bake them and they'll come out nice, shiny, gloss black. All right, the wheels are cooled down a little bit, um, so we're going to put them in the booth and put a dry coat on them and then we'll roll them in the oven. subscribe share share it with your friends um, leave any comments if you got any questions or I or suggestions for any future videos things you'd like to see wanted to give a big shout out to Alfred Linex for having us help him with the wheels on that that Range Rover project came out really sharp once again I appreciate you guys watching the video y'all take care and God bless